Identity politics is something we hear a lot in the, in the media. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bad word in, in many regards. That's how we understand it. But identity politics began in the 1960s generally, and it, it comes down to people gathering together around a particular identity. Redheads, we get together and we fight for our rights. Uh, we, we lobby government so that redheads can do this and do that. Uh, we lobby the powers that be so that we can have a particular kind of future. Um, so as a crass example, that helps us to understand how, how identity politics works. So to be more serious, gay and lesbian identity politics works together for a particular um, society in the future. They lobby together and because they're, as, they, as they come together, they're a bigger group, they have more power to lobby the powers that be to create a space for them to live now um, in order for society to validate them in particular kinds of ways that they see fit. So the result of this is that um, um, over the period of 30, 40 years, we just get this proliferation of identities. Now, this is understandable from a Christian perspective because the way that God created the world is, is with amazing diversity. Um, it's no surprise to us that, that we humans you know, manifest um, all these kinds of diversity in the way that we look, the way that we think, the way that we see the world. The dilemma is that when sin enters the world, uh, and, and Babel is a good example of this, is that we want our own identity to be validated in this moment. And so um, in the present era, we just have this absolute proliferation of identities, and what you get there is just this social dysfunction. Everyone pushing and pulling for spaces to have their identity recognised in particular kinds of ways. And of course, different kinds of identity groups disagree with different kinds of identity groups. And so what we get now is just this constant clash everywhere, pushing and pulling, throwing rights, appealing to rights, pushing rights, trying to get this kind of space and a future for um, the identity that, that I belong to. So that's the way the identity politics has developed and how it's, how it's impacting us in the present.